A couple years ago, I made a large mutant toad cake, and it was a good time, so I would like to revisit. Only this time, let's take out the large mutant part and just make a toad cake. A life-size toad. He's the little guy. My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that do not look like cakes. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a realistic toad cake. Toads come in many shapes and sizes, but today I'm going to narrow it down to a four to five inch long toad. And I'm gonna add a little chunk to him, make him chonky. I wanna make him cute. And toads aren't exactly known for being cute, but I think that this extra weight I'm adding is gonna help with that. So I'm stacking two layers of cake with green buttercream between the layers. It's not exactly toad green, but it's green nonetheless. Now I'm carving the cake into the very simple shape of a toad. He's gonna be looking up all majestic-like, and he's kind of pointy on on both ends. He's got a pointy nose and a pointy bum, kind of like a cake-shaped almond. Recently, I've been making a lot of object cakes, so it's a nice change of pace to switch to an animal. I really love how textured the toad is, so sculpting it is going to be very fun. But first, I need to cover this cake in a layer of buttercream, and then I'll put it in the fridge for about 20-ish minutes to chill. While we wait, I am rolling out white modeling chocolate, but I don't want to roll it out too thin because I need some chocolate to sculpt with. It kind of looks like I'm picking up pizza dough. Now I bring the chilled cake back out of the fridge and I cover it in the chocolate. I want to pack it nice and tight around the cake and obviously I've got a lot of extra chocolate here. That's okay, I will just trim the chocolate away with scissors and a blade and I will save that chocolate for another day. Let's get this excess chocolate out of here. Now I'll just pick up the cake and work the chocolate around the bottom. And I've got a little modeling chocolate tail here that I'm just gonna trim away before I get started sculpting. I've got a handful of sculpting tools here that I'm going to use to turn this chocolate blob into a toad. Pointy bum and all. One time I was playing on the swings in my backyard and I saw a toad, so I picked it up and it peed on me. I was a little sad about it, but then my husband told me it was probably just scared and I shouldn't take it personally. I've made cakes of other reptiles in the past. I've made a snake and a tortoise and now a toad. Wait a minute. A toad is not a reptile. It's an amphibian, like the elusive hydra spider. A tortoise and a snake hatch from an egg as mini versions of themselves. You get a mini snake and you get a mini tortoise. But toads hatch as tadpoles and they go through stages before they become their true toad selves, which makes them amphibians. What other reptiles or amphibians do you think I should make next? Let me know in the comments. No hydra spiders. My favorite part of the toad is its front legs. They're short and they bow out. It's kind of like a bulldog. And I find that so adorable. They're like little tough guys. His little toes are also cute. I've sculpted dense folds and all kinds of texture, but what this toad really needs is some warts. Well, toads don't actually have warts. They have glands and naturally textured bumpy skin. They're just bumpy boys. So I filled a small parchment piping bag full of royal icing and I'm piping little dots. I'll also pipe some larger dots along the toad's back and sides, all different size dots. I chose royal icing rather than buttercream to pipe the texture because royal icing dries hard. That way I can paint over it later. This is fun, I don't get to pipe very often. So when I do, I get carried away. This toad is gonna have a lot of texture. <laughs> to be fair, some of them do. Some of them are loaded with bumps. So it's true to life. It's looking like a toad in the snow. So let's add some color. This toad's gonna be brown, ivory, and green. I love the way that the color runs down the side, like a beautiful waterfall. This might be the most fun cake that I have ever painted. Also, because I spent so much time on that texture, it makes painting this cake really easy. It almost paints itself. It also helps that some toads are light and some are dark and some have lines and some have dots. There's really a huge variety, so I can just run with it. I can just make it up as I go. There are no rules. I wish all my cakes were this fun to paint. Like, it's fun, but this is really fun. Maybe I'll just start making only toad cakes. Toad cakes for days. No, no, no. No, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to ruin a good thing. I'm painting the entire eye black. Then I go in with gold and add some lines and dots in there. Toads have really pretty eyes. I mean, they really stick out. I mean, like literally, because they're bulbous, but they're also really pretty. And now I'll just gloss them up a bit. And there you have it, a toad cake. 
I've heard of a toad turning into a prince, but a cake? <laughs> and if you like this video, please like this video because it helps me grow the channel and that allows me to keep making cake videos for you. All right, let's cut the cake. 